Hey Encouragers, it's Joe. I wanted to come on with Tuesday's encouragement. I went out today and I did what I would normally do around this time of the year. Even though I really don't need it, I just felt like this is a routine that I want to keep because I like it. I went out and bought a new planner. I always get a really simple planner like this. I don't know if you can see it, it's just the month to keep in my wallet because although I know I get it, everybody loves to use an iPhone, if I don't have it on paper and I don't write it down, I will forget it. So I'll have it in my phone also with lots of reminders. And then I also have to have a mini little calendar because for whatever reason, I'm a very organized person, but dates are not my jam. So I went out and bought a, a, a little mini calendar and I chose this one because it said on the front, 2021, everything is going to be okay. <laughs> And I wanna just, I'll have to tag this brand after I'm done because it's so cute. Um, they're called orangecirclestudio.com and everything inside's encouraging. The last page says everything's going to be okay. My favorite page, hold on, throw kindness around like confetti, living my best life. This is my favorite page, crushing it. I just think it's adorable and super encouraging. However, that's not my encouragement today. Although I do encourage you to get a super cute planner. Um, I also bought pencils. I'm a huge pencil person. I don't know if it's because I was a teacher or I just loved being a student, but there's nothing better to me than like a freshly sharp pencil or a killer mechanical pencil. So I went out and got some pencils. And as I started to sit down and kind of plan out my dates and pencil in my dates, which I normally weirdly really enjoy. It's like one of those weird things. Like some people like to fold laundry. You know, we all have those weird things that we just enjoy that are tedious or time consuming. I love putting dates in my calendar. I don't want to be too busy. So it kind of like gives me management of my time. I just love everything about it. But as I was doing it, it felt different this season. I'm putting a few dates in. I'm not putting anywhere near as many dates in, which in some ways feels really nice and in some ways feels really sad. Um, and then I'm writing dates in thinking I might have to erase these. My kid's school is starting, but I don't know when they'll continue. I don't know if they'll be stopped. I don't know if it will be normal fully yet. So I'm putting dates in, but I'm using a pencil and it made me think, shouldn't we live life this way all the time? Shouldn't we live life like a pencil? able to be erased and be flexible. So what I mean by that is well, I'm putting my dates in knowing that they may be erased and I'm trying to find a place of peace with that. And in our life, we don't have full control. We can plan and we can scheme and we can do our best to, you know, best laid plans, make our best um, arrangements and then life happens. And certainly in this season, life has happened to many of us very unexpected life. We're living in totally unprecedented times. None of us really know what it's going to be like, what it's going to look like, what it's going to feel like. So we're making plans, but we need to make them in pencil because we need to be willing to let them go. We need to be willing to erase them completely and maybe write in something new. We need to be okay with erasing all of it. And that's not easy. That takes flexibility, that takes time to really accept the changes that you're going through. And I was talking to ladies uh, last night about this, just this need for perseverance in this season and a need for us to be aware that we're grieving, that we're losing things. And I think that if we can live life in pencil, my metaphorically, instead of in permanent marker or pen, then we'll be more peaceful. If we don't hold our plans so tightly in our hands and we're willing to, erase them if needed or change them if needed, we'll have more peace. So I know it might sound silly, but live like life like a pencil and you will have more peace. Don't hold your plans so tightly in your hands. Okay, let God do his thing. I'm not saying that's always easy. I'm not saying the plans are always what you want. Certainly in this season, there could be some things going on that are devastating. Okay, but lift it up, give it up. Live life with open hands. Live life in pencil. Don't hold your life and your plans and your things too tightly. Okay, there's so much more to life than this and beyond this.
So let's live life in pencil, ladies. I hope this makes sense. It makes sense to me in my heart. I hope it brings you encouragement and peace. If it does, please share it with her, someone you know that will will encourage. And I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this idea. Are you trying to be open, hand, open hands this season? Are you trying to have an open heart to the change that's going on around you? Are you finding peace? Are you seeking peace in your decisions? And are you willing to let them go if it doesn't work out? All right, ladies, love to you all. I hope you have an encouraging day. I hope you get out there and encourage someone else. There's a whole lot of people that need encouragement right now, girls. Let's be those women who encourage others and cause a domino effect of encouragement all over the world. Let's do it. All right, happy Tuesday. I'll see you again tomorrow.